Hello Virgo! Thank you very much for tuning in to your general read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Daily Matero by Renata Lechner. For the support of Oracle Cards, the Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. Already shuffled. Feels a little bubbly. Yeah, face down. I was like, is that really it? No, that's good. Okay, like, this is it for that line. Okay. I was like, what is going on here? Okay, let's see. <laughs> let's see where this is going. This is interesting. Your, uh, your line is very transparent. Seems very level, very stable. What's going on around you seems a little bit, there's, it's all face down. And it's just kind of like it's bubbly, and I get that, but let's see what we're going into. Ace of Swords with the six, nope, that's the Seven of Cups, yeah? Seven of Cups. I feel you're out there communicating, talking about ideas. You're, it seems like you're a part of talking things out. A lot of possibilities coming forward. A lot of things could happen. A lot of good things. You seem very excited. You're very invested in this conversation. Swords are air. Errors are, errors are usually conversation, things like that. A lot of mental activity, too. You're thinking it through. Um, Virgo, Earth, very good for planning, usually. This sounds like, to me, like you're excited about this. Very much involved in this conversation, ideas, what to do, where to go next, whatever needs to happen. Very excited that it's being taken care of and the plan is taking shape. What happens next? It's face down too, isn't it? It is face down. Okay, it's well, it's face down, but it's upside down. This is how. Okay. Okay. Well, well, they're upside down. They're upside down. Whatever the situation you're excited about, all these ideas, get the plan together, handle it, whatever. Good, good, good. I feel like whatever the situation is, the fa the fact that it's being handled and a plan is being formed, you're excited about that because it makes you feel empowered. This makes sense. The Seven of Wands with the Courage upside down. Um, I just feel like things are things are happening too quickly. P trying to plan something to handle the situation, it's just the situation took a life of its own and went south really quick. Like it went bad really quick. It just like, it just did not go good. Things are going bad. The situation itself just did. I'm not seeing someone to blame for this. It's just things are taking a downturn very quickly. And the courage upside down is making me feel like something just failed here. It's just something failed and there's just no way around it. I'm actually getting failure with the courage upside down. Like somebody might have failed. Somebody might have. They just weren't up for the challenge. I'm getting... A, Things are going bad. The Seven of Wands is making me feel like a challenge was failed. I'm getting a double. Like something really just failed. Just failed. Um, all right. So this makes sense with this next trio of cards you have. So that does make sense to me. Whew. Okay. We got the. Is it the eight? The eight is actually first. The Eight of Cups. The Devil card. Is that judgment or temperance? It's judgment. The situation failed. Somebody may have failed. It just it did not work out, whatever it was. The devil card with the judgment is kind of like... It happened. It's kind of like... The devil card with the judgment is like, whatever happened, you're subject to it. And the eight of cups with the, the devil... If you take the judgment out, it's just kind of like you're forced to go forward with what's new. But judgment is saying it's final. There's no... I, I don't feel like there's picking up the pieces. I don't feel like there's an option to pick up pieces here. Like, you just have to go forward and handle it. It's just like... It's like you just handled this pile of whatever was left. And you're just like, I don't think I can do anything with this. There's no picking up the pieces, and you just got to have to get rid of it. I don't feel like there's any picking up the pieces. And the devil makes me feel like you don't like that. This is not the way you wanted this to work out. The judgment feels final. 
the eight of cups makes me feel like you have to go on. You have to go on. I just feel like you have to go on. I'm trying to find a po more positive way to read that, and they think that's where I'm getting stuck, and they're like, no, that's just what's here. All right. Nope. This is the environment. Somebody, somebody at least, not, I don't feel like it's you, but somebody's trying to reorganize the situation, just trying to pick up the pieces. Somebody else is trying to pick up the pieces. I don't feel like there's, I don't know really if there is, I just don't feel like there's anything for you to pick up. For you at least, I don't see there's anything for you to pick up. Somebody else is trying to, and this might be why you're not, because you see this other person doing it, and it's just, there's no improvement. It failed. It's kind of like the Thanksgiving dinner that just got thrown all over the floor. And you're just kind of like, it's all over the floor. Nobody's going to eat that. I'm certainly not going to eat that. It's ruined. Meanwhile, somebody's like, well, this chicken leg's okay, or this turkey leg's okay, and these peas are still okay, and wait, there's some of the stuffing still in this. It was in the bird, so it didn't touch the floor. And you're just kind of like, I just feel you looking at this going, I'm not eating that. And I wouldn't ex anybody else to either that's the analogy I'm getting there but somebody's trying to they're trying to put it back together it's just the fruitless win here it's like they might save some of it but who's gonna really want it that's kind of what I'm feeling that's how it feels to me um, where are we going next <laughs> all these face down cards are really oh the situation judgment you had I feel like you were accepting the judgment. I feel like that's another reason that was on your side. It's not about liking it. It's just judgment has been made. you got to move on. And I feel you just accept it. There's just, it's kind of like looking at the Thanksgiving on the floor. I'm not eating that. I wouldn't expect anybody else to eat that. You might be able to salvage some of it, but no thank you. I'm um, not doing it. You're completely turned off to the situation. Justice and health is telling me everybody is going to have to accept that the situation is done. It's destroyed. It feels like it's destroyed. Justice is saying accepting that to me. And health, the justice comes from just like cleaning up the mess and that's that. There's just not going to be a Thanksgiving dinner this year. And I know a lot of different countries... I think a lot of people know what they mean. I realize it just dawned on me that it's an American thing. Sorry about that. Um, this beautiful dinner has been destroyed. It took a lot of effort to make it, but it's destroyed. Not enough time to make another one of that quality. We're just going to have to have pizza and move on. That's that. Sorry about that. I just realized at the end, sorry, it's an American thing. Sorry. Because um, I know people all over the world watch, and thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> the justice is saying it, it is what it is. And people moving on and just accepting it, let's just clean it up, and we're just going to have, there's no dinner tonight. Either that or you're going to have to get pizza. Sorry. Done. I feel you picking up something else and moving on from this. I don't, it's not about liking it, and I feel like you're very much in that boat. It's just like, it has nothing to do with how I feel about it, it's done. You're going to work on other things and move on. You're distracting yourself by getting into something else and just doing something else. And I feel like that's the healthiest thing. Something you already have you're working on, something you can continue to working on, you're just going to use that frustration and motivate you to get something else done, and you're just letting it go. I don't even feel like you want to talk about it, quite frankly. I feel like you're not even into talking about it at this point. It just it happened. You're just going to take your energy in a different direction. Enough. It's frustrating. I know it's frustrating. But I feel you kind of stepping that... Well, just to be fair, if you're not already feeling this, it, this could double as advice. Just let it stay in the past and move on. Put your energy somewhere where you can actually make a difference. I feel like there's a lot of other things you're working on anyway. Let it go completely in the sense of, like, don't talk about it with anybody. I feel like especially because it's swords, don't bring up conversations, don't make it worse because you're going to make it worse on yourself. Just step away from it, do something else, 
if you need to talk about it months down the road, then months down the road, so it is. But don't don't hold on to it. Let it go. Move on. Use your energy for something that's going to make you happy, that you can actually see product, you know, something come of it. Don't even talk about it. I feel like there's no reason to at this point. It was all over the floor. Like, what are we going to talk about? Like the placement of the mashed potatoes, where they ended up, you know, in somebody's shoe? Woo! I mean, who's that helping? Done? Done. All right, I hope that helps. So thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.